So in my journey to get Kamisa to Ayato to be the utmost strongest in my account and what ended up to be the greatest there ever was, I set out on a journey to get Kamisa to Ayato. And I did and I cannot mention enough times how awesome it has been have him on my free to play account not only is he a hydro character making him very valuable in many teams but he also deals a decent amount of damage and well i would say a lot of damage for my personal ito but he is also an incredible support if you need him to be a damage dealer if you need him to be just very versatile in what you can actually come up with your kamisato ito and man, oh man, can I mention a lot about this character. Now, I'm going to be going through uh, some of the stuff that I think is important in this next segment. And you just, you know, his certain kit, how much damage he does, whatever it is. And I'll also be having a Spiral Abyss, you know, whole segment at the very end of the video. So you guys should stick out to the end for you guys to see that as well. But that is going to be pretty much it. I'm going to ask you guys to subscribe to the channel as well. Like the video if you guys do end up enjoying it. And I'll see you guys in the next one or the next segment, I guess. But my Kamisato Ayato has been there for me in this free to play account through thick and through thin. Now, the thing is with my Kamisato Ayato is that I invested so much into this one character, it might actually tip the scale a little bit in my favor. Now, Ayato is definitely the character I think has been the most beneficial for my account other than Tartaglia. He's been such a good Hydro character, does a lot of DPS damage, incredible support as well at the same time, can fit into many teams, has so much to bring to the table, and I definitely would recommend you guys to summon for him if you want a capable character to deal damage as well as could support using his elemental burst. It's just absolutely awesome. Not only that, but he can fit into so many teams as he's an Hydra, you know, applicator or whatever you want to say. And he's absolutely amazing. Kamisato Ayato has been so influential for me in my own account. He's been fun. He fits just so perfectly. And he just clears out the Spiral Abyss in a timely manner and just absolutely destroys it. Now, my Kamisato Ayato is quite strong and he does have a little bit well a lot of it to be talked about here now my Aito in terms of his max HP isn't the absolute greatest of all time as this does increase his damage but his actual attack is almost at 2000 his elemental mastery is above 100 and his stats look like this I know it's not the craziest you know amount but it is the amount that helps me do a lot of damage and with my weapon, the Haran Gepakufutsu, this is his weapon. It's his specific weapon. It's on the weapon banner. And I am very glad that I did take the initiative and summoning on this weapon. Now, does this mean he needs this weapon in order for him to, you know, perform admirably? Hell no. This weapon does not need to be used on Ayato in order for him to do anything. He absolutely nails any weapon and does a lot of damage and a lot of support otherwise. Now, you will have to, you know, out, you know, give him a little bit more to work with as his crit rate, crit damage ratio or something like that, or even attack or his max HP even to sort of, you know, come up with the base attack and crit rate and a month of damage bonus that this gives. Not only that, but this also gives normal attack damage, which is pretty massive. Now, his actual artifacts... He can run a lot of artifacts, whether it's Shimanawa, whether it's this, whether it's any other artifact set that you could use. Even the Heart of Depth set could actually be used on Kamisato Ayato, making him very versatile, making him able to use a lot of artifacts. And the fact that he could use an artifact set needs some sort of luck to be played. Uh, it's kind of uh, amazing and does do a lot. Now, this artifact set is great, but it does have that whole uh, luck based thing. It's not the greatest of all time, but it does fit him well. It, you know, he does do a lot of like swipes while he's in his elemental skill. So it doesn't really matter that much. And not only that, but his actual constellations are good if you have C6. Now, I do have C1, but it does give him a, you know, 40% damage increase after 
opponents have 50 percent hp you want to keep that in mind now he's almost at full 10 10 and 10 uh i will be getting him um all the way to 10 as well for now i am still trying to get scaramouche up there and he does uh require you know these stuffs so i'm going to be holding off just for the moment on getting him all the way to 10 just for now and work on Scaramouche a little bit more. Ayato is definitely one of those characters that I will never regret summoning on. He's been amazing. And I absolutely destroy any Spiral Abyss with comments out to Ayato. And actually, let me just show you really quick if I go over here. Now, the past few Spiral Abysses, I didn't really try the utmost hardest you know, to get all the way to 36. So it might be like 35 or something like that. It is 35. And to be honest, I didn't really need that 50 gems. But for the most part, I've been getting 36, 35, 36. And if I did really want to, I would, you know, try a little bit harder to get the 36. Because let's be honest, I just do this once and then, you know, I just leave. Uh, that's that. But that is going to be, uh, yeah, he's he's been awesome. He's been capable of doing anything I needed him to do on my account. And that's that's the greatness of Kamisato Aito. Not to mention he drinks boba every now and then. Sort of gets annoying, actually. <laughs> he is generally a, an amazing character. And I'm kind of, you know, thankful that I did decide to summon on him. And decided that he would be like the face of this account basically other than tartaglia because tartaglia also is uh he's quite good on this account too Thank you. 